packed up and we are finally leaving. Um, I think it's way later in the day. It's 3.30 by the time we actually are about to leave. I'm still waiting on mom. She's just grabbing the last thing she needs. So yeah, we're on our way. And we're probably might stop at Cabazon Mall where it's kind of like an outlet, like Cabazon Outlet. And yeah, I'm excited. I put on some lipstick. This color is Max. Um, let me see. It's this really pretty combo and I really like it, but I can't remember. One is by MAC and one is by Lancome. The MAC one I put first and it's cream sheen. So I put that down first and then I put this um, natural beauty cream by Lancome. And yeah, I think I really like it. And still loving my eyelash extensions. They're really pretty. They're like, I've stopped like feeling like there's something on my eye where I feel like, oh, I need to touch it. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. And yeah, we should be on our way pretty soon. So I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. And it's probably gonna be long, I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get. And I don't know, might be going out to dinner with my family later today and what else it's probably it and just getting to the hotel i don't know the name of the hotel we're staying at but i'm pretty sure i'll figure out when we get there and yeah so i'll see you guys later of our room and stuff so yeah it's pretty cool actually um so we're in Palm Springs and yeah we might be going out to dinner pretty soon actually so I'm really hungry I'm just kind of a little hangry because she's like hungry and angry but yeah so we're here and it's really cool so I'll is it all right if I come round? Is it too late if I come now? Could you stay up to figure this out some way? If I stay here, would you come back? If I stay cool, would you be mad? Would you want the hotel from dinner? We had to Cheesecake Factory and I got some pasta. My mom got some salmon and we brought some food back for my aunt. So we're about to go see them and I switched into my cute yes, like sweats. So yeah. You'll get to see baby. So, hi guys. Sorry if, okay, it's in focus. Sorry about today, like the part one day. I don't really have a lot of footage, and I was gonna vlog Marshall, but Marshall has a fever and it's not doing well, and he got hungry, and my cousin wasn't there to feed him. My, um, her, my aunt slash her mom was watching him, so we had to end up calling her to come back and feed him because he got hungry. So yeah, that wasn't great, but um, the day was pretty fun, so yeah, thank you, and probably see you tomorrow. Bye guys. We have little Marshall with us in the morning. He was a bit cranky because he got hungry. You like your bottle? Yeah. I think he, he doesn't understand the camera yet. Is he smiling? He's like staying right at it. Hello, pretty boy. Pretty boy. 
Yeah, we're off for breakfast as well, but Marshall got his early. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> like some oatmeal and fruit and a piece of toast i don't know i took a picture of my meal yeah um so i came back by myself and i'm gonna change and then go to the pool with my other family um that i didn't have breakfast with <laughs> Walking back because now I have to take a shower and start getting ready for my cousin's wedding. So, yeah, I think it's like around one and the wedding's at four. So, I should have enough time to get ready and get that, but I'll check back in when I'm in the room. ceremonies in one form or another make an appearance in almost every culture and religion. Everyone gets dolled up and we all come together from around the country and sometimes the world to witness one single moment between two people. In our lives we'll each have thousands of great moments but this one is considered so important and so vital that it merits all this pomp and circumstance. And <laughs> All right, cool. Here's the boy. Okay, so thank you for coming. I know Ashley has been working night and day to make this night wonderful for everyone and for her and lasting memories. And I know for sure, I think for all of us, definitely. It's been good. So I just want to start off by saying that marriage is a three wing circus. <laughs> At least that's what they want you to believe. So they say, First, there's engagement ring, wedding ring, and suffering. <laughs> but, but, there's always, you can always prove them wrong. It's all about compromise, forgiveness, unconditional love, and making that choice every single day. 
even when you wake up and you think, oh, I just got to go, and life's so busy, but it's still your every your choice every day. Um, I know that for me and probably my brother here, um, in our eyes, you've always been our big sister, and he, she has six years on us, but, you know... <laughs> Okay, you know. but it's awesome. Um, so I can't speak for like the first five years of her life, but ever since I've known her, she's always been, you know, right on top. <laughs> she's always raising the bar for both of us and creating um, the new standard and unmeetable being... standards. <laughs> well, it gives us something to try for. You know, we never, we always want to reach the Ashley limit. <laughs> So Victor, I hope that you always look at Ashley and you just want to constantly be surprising her and loving her to the best that you can because she sets the bar high. Very, very high. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you can reach it, obviously, or we would not be here today. <laughs> um, I'm so proud of you guys. I know that I put Bryn has stuff to say, but we love you and I'm so excited for these next steps and you? your next role as a brand new wife and Sorry. I know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Carmel. She's always been setting the great example though for creating lifelong friendships and always reaching out to her family even when she moves so far from us. She's always been the opportunity to talk to us and come see us whenever she can. So she's been a great example of her family and creating good values. And I know that Victor and she will pass that on to their growing family one day too. I decided to say something about three seconds before I walked up here. Um, <laughs> I don't know much about marriage. I'm 21 and uh, single. Marty? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I have two dates, the beautiful girls right there, um, they're wonderful people, as, and I know both, or all of you guys are, all of you guys are wonderful people, but the wonderful people here that I want to recognize are these two, Victor, I have one brother, that's Aaron, and I'm really glad that you're going to be my other one, I had two sisters growing up, and Jamie in the house and it was just a lot of women to grow up with so I'm really glad that we have the two brothers here Aaron and Victor and I just wish, wish the both of you guys the best and I know that uh, Ashley is very particular with her choices so for her to uh, choose someone I'm I'm very confident in your ability to make her happy so <laughs> I'm sure anyone that knows her knows that anything she does she does the best and I'm really happy for you and just excited to see what you guys are going to do. So, I love you. breakfast at the hotel we had to get a new room key because we did a late checkout and the room keys we have are only active for a certain amount of time so we need a new room key so we can quickly check out and then leave so we can go home it's been a really exciting week for breakfast I got an acai bowl I didn't get to finish it because like we got there kind of late so I just packed it and I'm gonna probably eat it when we get in the room real quick or on the way back so yeah and I'm just wearing this cute blue dress from Nordstrom's and these adorable little like Steve Madden chunky shoes. They're super cute and I just have my purse. They kind of just all. So yeah, I'm excited to be go get going home. It's been a long weekend, so it'll be great to finally sleep in my own bed.